Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Comics and Stuff. My name is Devin and I am your host, and today I am going to talk to you a little bit about how to open a CGC slab. Now, there's a couple tools you need, scissors and a screwdriver. Why scissors and a screwdriver? Well, a couple reasons. Generally, on the side of a CGC slab, it's generally the right side, but it could be the left side. You'll find that the plastic is a little more flexible. So, you'll want to use your screwdriver, insert it in there, and work your way around it. And then you'll want to uh, use your scissors to cut open the mylar bag that is protecting the CGC slab. So without making you guys wait, I'm going to jump right into this. I should let you know that CGC slabs uh, aren't generally meant to be opened, which is why they are difficult to open. But there is still a way for collectors who uh, prefer to have their comic books raw. So <clears throat> if you bear with me for just a moment, I'm going to set these scissors aside. and We're going to start working on the CGC slab. So as I showed you a moment ago, the side right here, the right side, is the one that is a little more easy to bend open. So you'll want to just take your screwdriver and insert it into that gap. And then you'll want to start working your way around it. So as you can see, I have worked my way to the top here. And you just want to start working around that. It can get a little messy, so don't feel bad. Now, it can be a little intimidating because you definitely don't want to damage your comic book. However don't feel bad about destroying the slab because you're opening it and it's going to be destroyed anyways. So, and as you see, I'm using this little twisting motion here to use the fat side of the flathead screwdriver to open it up. Now I am doing this fairly quickly. Um, it's generally recommended that you take it a little slow, slower or slowly, but uh, this is something that I'm pretty experienced with, so I'm comfortable moving a little faster than most. I'm gonna Keep working our way around here. And looks like that's actually just about it. It went through pretty quickly. Let's finish getting this open. There we go. Okay, so there goes the top part. Now, you look at the book and let's see here. It is inside a mylar bag that is inside the slab. So I'm just gonna quickly lift this out. There we go. Okay, so. There goes the slab, got your 3D sticker, that is all done. Moving on. So now, you want to get the label out before you start doing anything else. Look, luckily, CGC has an easy slip in and out pocket for your label. So you remove that. We'll keep this just over here. Now, let's look a little closely at this. You want to get the comic book out. This is a thick really well made sleeve. So this is gonna be a little difficult. Generally, CGC will include a small space between the comic book and the border of the bag itself. Generally, it is on the right side, but occasionally you'll find it on the left or the top. Um, I have yet to have seen an opening on the bottom. So for this book, if you look on the right side ever so slightly, there is a small, this is only a few millimeters long, just a small space. So we're going to be using that and the scissors to cut through there. This is where uh, it can be a little intimidating. You definitely don't want to cut too fast. It can da damage your comic book. So bear with me if on this one. Give me just a second here. We're going to very carefully cut just at the tip of that opening. Now, if you cut too fast, the plastic, when it splits, could uh, get right into your comic book and dig into it with the little sharp corners. So be careful. Now, if you just look at what I, or if you look at what I just did, when the side of it gets too long, it can get a little more difficult to cut, and you can end up screwing up your uh, your cut and then damage your comic book, which you don't want to do. So every few inches, I recommend cutting it off just so you can continue to have that straight cut. Uh, this is still intimidating. I've done this a million times and it's still utterly intimidating just because you don't want to damage the comic book. Even if the comic book isn't worth a lot, it's still a comic book and those things, I mean, in my head, comic books are sacred. So these are things that you need to be very careful with. Now, I will be posting other videos on how to open a PGX and CBCS slab. 
So once I have those, I will be happy to put links in the description of the video below. You can also find a link uh, below to the video of mine that uh, introduces CGC Comics to uh, new collectors, and it kind of gives a quick review about CGC and their grading services and customer service. Let's see here. We are almost done, folks. I promise. Now, luckily, I had this set aside. This is a uh, Haunt of Fear. Number 22, it's an older book published by EC Comics. And I have more than one of these, so I had no problem opening with the restored one. And again, if you're curious on what a restored comic book is uh, with that purple label, then make sure you click on the link below that leads to my CGC video. But okay, we are just about done. And voila, okay. So now we have this open and you can just ever so easily slide the comic book out. No damage. And voila. Okay. So that is this video, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, one thing I should mention is if you ever plan on having the comic book regraded, keep the label. Send the book in with the label. Uh, that will generally give the uh, graders an idea of what it should be, especially if it's a CGC and you send it back to CGC or if you're going to get it PGX or, or, or CG, CBCS, um, send this in so they can say, okay, well, this other company thought it was this great, so we're going to try our best to make sure that it is as close to that or, you know, whatever. But in any case, um, so yeah, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Comics and Stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe, follow, tell your friends about this. Um, and then again, if you are curious about CGC, uh, click the link below leading to my video that introduces uh, new collectors to CGC books. But uh, until next time, uh, thank you for tuning in and uh, we'll see you soon.